26 Big 12 Women's Basketball Championship. It's a perfect evening in downtown Kansas City, Missouri to crown a champion. Big 12 teams have competed in the T-Mobile Center the last six days, and two teams remain for the championship final tonight. Texas has won two Big 12 titles, including the latest in 2022. Then last year when they tried to defend their crown, Iowa State defeated the reigning champs, earning one of their three conference titles. Tonight, it's a rematch. It's a new arena with new young stars, but the same prize is on the line, a Big 12 championship. Shaylee Gonzalez bringing it up. Shay Holly splashes down a three-pointer. She's been in double figures each of the two games here in Kansas City. One of the toughest things to do in a zone defense is to rebound the basketball. Booker again! Booker is red hot to start things off. Seven to nothing run for Texas. Bellinger steps into a three, got it. What a big shot for Bellinger. But Emily Ryan now all-time leader in a career assist and also career assist at the Big 12 tournament. Madison Booker is in double figures already. The moment is not too big for this player of the year in the Big 12. This defense that Texas came out to play with today has been stifling. <laughs> what a shot from Shaley Gonzalez over Nadabu. Gonzalez wrapping her arm around, but the foul is called on Jackson, the freshman for Iowa State. Gonzalez rings up a three-pointer. And Addie Brown back into the game with two fouls, but she's stripped by Madison Booker. She's got two fouls, so Booker makes it all the way to the rim. They've had to kind of lessen up the, the pressure that we've seen. Yeah, so the guards especially can't get out of pressure like that. But Gonzalez and Texas keep shooting lights out. This is the largest deficit of the season for Iowa State. Kelsey Jones hits a big three before the halftime buzzer. Will that give Iowa State a little lift? Iowa State is a team that typically takes good care of the basketball as Kirk scores inside. They average under so far just eight points, but she started off 0 for her first six. Since then, she started putting it together. It's finding that rhythm now the offensive end. Booker out top to Gonzalez. Boy, the three-pointers are going down for Texas. And how they're, they're playing hard and they're causing turnovers every year. But you love to see this from your team getting ready to head into postseason play. Ryan picks up her dribble. Boy, Shay Holly had her arm wrapped around Emily Ryan. She steps back to three and nails it. down to 12. Kelsey Jones is in. Nice bounce pass to Crooks. Great patience. And there's the react. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, Adi. And then the defense they were playing. So Iowa State, they have to find a way to get a bucket. There you go. Let's go, Jackson. It's a 12 point ball game. Oh, Texas running a one, one four flat. Let Booker go to work. And she does. She scores. Just the way Coach Schaefer drew it up. It's an 18-point lead for Texas. Crooks finally get the first basket of the quarter for the Cyclones. Bellinger from the corner. Got it. Scoring through contact for a nice fadeaway. Shay Holly. And there's that endurance coming into play. And there's one of them right there. Crooks on the all Big 12 freshman team. Crooks. Addie Brown. Beautiful pass to set up Crooks. Unselfish play. To propel themselves to a Big 12 championship. Moore finishing things up for the Longhorns. Texas wins the last Big 12 championship that they will ever be a part of as they come out and dominate from start
start to finish and get the 70 to 53 victory over Iowa State. You know, a perfect way to end. To your point, the, the last time they will play in the Big 12 tournament and they absolutely left their mark. And they grab the crown back tonight with a championship.